Hey everybody, it's Christina. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a really fun video. Um, I like doing these reviews. So this is kind of a first impression slash review because we are going to, uh, I'm going to show you guys the brushes, uh, the makeup brushes that I got, and then I'm going to actually use them to try on, try to put on some eyeshadow and you guys will get a better feel for, you know, whether or not it works as well as I think it will. So, um, I'm going to show you the ones that I have first that I'm going to compare them to. This is a set that I got for, um, my birthday and it's a really cheap kind of crappy set. Um, like some of them kind of like pop off. You see, it's like crap. It's just not very good. Um, they're pretty decent. They work pretty, pretty decently for what I'm trying to do. And then I also have a elf brush or not elf, um, Sonia Kashuk. I have a Sonia Kashuk brush. So I'm going to compare the one in my, um, case in the, with this one, I've had this one for a long time. So it's kind of like falling apart a little bit, but not really. Um, and this is the one, this is one of my new Luxie brushes. This is my small contouring brush that I got in my boxy charm. Yeah. So I will definitely compare, you know, the feel and the look with this and these. So you guys have a better feel of not j just, you know, one opinion. So this is the, um, packaging for it. This is the roll. It's really cute. I like, I like it cause it's simple. It's black. I like it better than the pink one that I have, but when I first opened this up, because I've already opened it up to look at it, um, I thought it was really beautiful. I like the black, and I like the black and gold. Very, very nice. Very similar to the other one, but this one seems already like it's just better somehow. I don't know. Maybe it's because it's in black, but I really like this. Very, very nice. So, I'm going to go through here and grab a couple of brushes out. Um, let's check this out a little bit. this well they don't seem like loose up here which is good because sometimes you get them and they are already like loose and crappy feeling this is how this one looks pretty nice I like it very nice so that's cool um I like this yay I will definitely use this one <laughs> For my eyebrows and for my eyelashes. That one's really cool. Let's see if I can find a brush pretty similar to... Let's grab the fan brushes out of both. So this is the one that I already had. And it doesn't feel bad. So this one's bigger. I don't remember the price on this one, but I know the pink one, I either paid somewhere between like 11 and $13. I will link the black one below in case you guys are interested in seeing how much it is and, you know, checking it out and seeing other reviews. This is really, really nice. I like this one a lot, a lot better. This one is, let me see. This one's a little bit softer. They almost seem identical with the feel wise, but this one is softer. And I read this one, it says that it contains um, high quality hair or natural hairs and synthetic fibers or something. I'll read it again and put it in there. But I like the way this feels, it's really soft. Whereas this one's a little rougher. Yeah, this one's a lot softer. Very, very nice. I like these. I like this a lot. I am excited. I'm excited. Then let's compare. Let's see. What I like is when brushes have like what they're used for too. Like this just says number three. This actually says small contouring. This one doesn't say anything and neither do these pink ones, which is fine. I mean, you can use them for whatever you want. You know, at the end of the day, they're your brushes. But, you know, I like a little helper just to kind of like give me an idea of what kinds of things I could use my things for. Ooh, I like this brush. Not this one. This one right here. That one's awesome. 
I like this. That'll be really nice. With my gel liner. I like that one a lot. That one's cool. I just keep picking up brushes. <laughs> Here's another small fan brush. Perfect for highlight. I like it. Okay. So, I'll grab one of these. Oh my gosh. This is the nicest blush brush I have ever had. This, wow. And it's pretty tightly packed, which I like. And it's really soft. You can kind of see. And it doesn't shed, which is awesome. Even when I'm kind of pulling hard on it. I like these a lot so far. I mean, they seem really nice. And they, they're a lot bigger than the ones that I've had before. But I like that. Hmm. I like these a lot. Wow. Wow. I wasn't, I was thinking these were going to be pretty similar to the pink ones that I have, but these are a lot better than the ones that I had. Definitely a lot better. So, um, this one is pretty close to what I have going on with these. Like, once again, it's longer. Like, these are longer than normal brushes because this is a normal, you know, size brush. This one is the one from a pink one. So, this was a normal size brush. And then you put this at the bottom. These are longer, which is really nice. I like it. Huh. Okay. So let's try to see if I can find a, maybe like a blending brush. Maybe. There's an angled one. This one's awesome too. I like this one too. That's nice. Okay. Okay. Let's just grab my. If I use this one to see if it blends like up here really good. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. There we go. I'm going to, to, to use my um, Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. We're just going to throw some crazy colors on here so we can check this out, see how well it works. So let's start with kind of a darker color. So that's how that picked that up. Well, it's doing what it's supposed to do so far, you know what I mean? Cool. I really like the way these feel. They're not too hard or not too stiff. I don't, I don't know if that makes any sense. It's really, it's really soft, but it's still doing what it needs to do. It's not like too soft. So let me go in here with a very way, let's try this super bright pink color. Okay. Yeah, I like these a lot. I like these brushes a lot. I will definitely keep using them if anybody's interested in Knowing whether or not I stick with these or, you know, something else. Let me know. But I, I think these are going to be my new brushes. This is awesome. I'm so excited that I got these. You can never have too many brushes. But, you know, my brushes are starting to fall apart. I've only had them for, like, not even a year. Almost a year now. But, and they're already falling apart pretty badly. Sorry, my camera stand is just not wanting to stay together at all today. There we go. So this is cool. Okay. So let me see if I can find something to try to... Maybe push something under my eye. Ooh, this one's really nice too. Okay, one second.
And then there's this, man, this thing is just not wanting to stay at all. Let's see, let's grab maybe grab this black color. Throw it underneath. Woo! I forgot how pigmented this black was. <laughs> Whoops. Well, we will definitely test this out right now then. Boop. So I'm going to blend that a little bit. Wow. That went pretty crazy fast. Hey, why not? We can experiment with some new brushes, right? <laughs> the angle on this one is like perfect for doing a wing though. Then I could just go in with some makeup remover. Not necessarily my spit. <laughs> Clean it up a little bit. I will definitely have to try this brush out with some eyeliner. Let's throw some yellow up here. Some gold. That's what I should have done to begin with. That would have been cool. Here we go, guys. A gold with a black underneath. Ooh. How cool is that? Yeah, these brushes are really nice. I like them a lot. Let me know what kind of brushes you guys use because I would be really interested to know what kind of brushes you guys use. I pretty much just used, you know, whatever I had. Whatever I got my boxy charms lately and, you know, what I already have. But, you know, I'd be interested to know what kind of brushes you guys use. But, I mean, I have to say these are very nice. They're very great quality. I remember these aren't, like, super expensive. They were, it was an affordable price. I can't remember exactly how much it was. But I will put the link down below and you can check it out. But, I mean, you get a case and all these amazing giant brushes. I mean, they're just, like, they're, like, perfect. There's not one pick that I picked up that I was like, no, I can't use this. Or, no, it's not soft. Wow. They are just, they're really soft. I like them black and gold. It's really nice. Nothing else I can say. If anybody has any questions, let me know too. But I mean, these are just really cool. I think they're awesome. If you guys want to check it out, I'll have the link down below. I, I got these on Amazon. So. Definitely want to share the info with you guys. Because these are really nice. And there's like every kind of brush in here. My husband took this one out the other day and he was like, what is this? And I was like, baby, that's like a sponge applicator for eyeshadow. <laughs> Dip in the eyeshadow, put it on. Yeah, you can definitely tell he's never put eyeshadow on before. <laughs> and there's a really, really nice one for making, you know, wing liner. Be perfect for your line. Or this one. Oh, yeah, this one is perfect. Let's see if I can... Got a little bit of an angle. Yeah. We'll definitely have to check these out with some some liner. I mean, there's a ton of brushes in here. And you can use them for whatever you want. So, this is cool. So, um, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I got this in the mail the other day. And I was pretty excited to try it out. Like I said, my brushes are kind of falling apart. Not so good anymore, you know. So... I've definitely been needing some new brushes so I will so if you guys could like this video I really like doing reviews for you guys um hope you guys like watching these I think these are really fun I get to share different products with you guys 
we all get to learn about new stuff. Like I watch, like watching your guys' videos to learn new stuff about different kinds of makeup that I've never heard about. That's like super fun to me. And definitely subscribe to my channel so you can check out my future videos. They're not all reviews. So if you don't like review videos, I have lots of different kinds of videos if you want to check out the other ones. And comment down below. Say hi. Let me know what you thought of these brushes. Um, what kind of brushes you use, etc. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.